creating a scatter, pl a scatter plot we call a residual plot. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is enter our data. If you want to follow along, I'm on page 153 in your textbook. I've entered the age in L1 and score in L2. We're following example 3.15. Okay, so you can see I've entered my data. Um, the first thing you want to be able to do anytime that you get a set of data like this when you're creating scatter plots or, or, or I'm sorry, residual plots or anything is you need to create your scatter plot first so go to second y equals what we'll do is we'll go into plot one make sure to turn it on make sure it's a scatter plot L1 and L2 have also been selected okay you also want to go in and make sure that if you've got something in your other plots you want to make sure to turn those off okay so I go to zoom 9 and I get nothing let's go back in and double check that uh, I turned it off in order you should probably turn on, on your plot so I thought I did, maybe I didn't I turn it on you press zoom 9 and you get your scatter plot. And this should look just like what you saw in the book. Okay, the second thing we do is uh, even if we're going to create a regression plot or a, uh, a residual plot, we need to rec we need to calculate our least squares regression line. Okay, so go down to eight just because your book uses this one. So you do linreg and you press second one because I'm using L1 and L2 as my list. If you use a different one then you need to type in the appropriate one. Okay, we're going to be putting this into Y1, so go ahead and choose that. Okay, press enter, and it'll give you your X, your Y, or your Y-intercept, your slope, your R squared, and your R. Okay, double check this. We can go here, we can see our regression equation written in L1 press graph to double check to see if it does look like it's the regression equation that goes through our dots. Okay, second thing. I go to stat, I go to edit, and I want to create my residual list. Now, this list is pre-made. You don't have to actually find it for you. But to create it, you press second, insert or delete, and I'm going to call this list resid, R-E-S-I-D. Okay. Now, if I have calculated my least squares regression line, then this will populate. If I have not, or I've deleted it somehow, this column will just be empty. Okay, so if it's empty, go back and do linreg all over again, and come directly back here and do it again, and you should get a residual. Okay, um, to create a residual plot, you go second y equals to my stat plots. Turn off the original stat plot. Okay, I don't want to graph my original scatter plot with the residuals. It usually will overlap each other um, and that just gives you a really bad visual picture. Okay, so go up and go to stat plots 2. Okay, you can make sure to turn it on. Make sure it's the scatter plot selection. Make sure X list is the same as it was the first time. And then your Y list is going to be resid. Now if you haven't selected it here as I've done in the past, you go to second stat and it brings up your list which happens to be this menu go down and select the correct list which we want resid and so I choose this one okay I can finish this off by pressing zoom 9 and then you see you've got your your residual plot and that's exactly how you would create it every time <laughs>